What's up, guys? It's Funk Master Chris. Oh, Daddy Slim. And we're in the Aqualab Technologies uh, showroom. Checking out some glass right here. Uh, this is one of the baddest head shops in all of California, in my opinion. And uh, the one reason why I really respect this glass shop, uh, you know, first and foremost, is because they're really on board with the medical marijuana movement and concentrates, concentrates especially. You can see all these Earl rigs right here. You got all kinds of sick collabs from the dopest artists. You know what I mean? You see all these nerds. They got the MNP hops collab up here. I see a Carver B in there. They got some sling yeah. hops. They pretty much got everybody that a glass enthusiast you know, could imagine here. Here's the Aqualab Technologies little display shelf right here. You can actually see this piece right here, that oil rig. I actually own one of those. We got a real Earl up one, as we'll show you right here. They set, us, they set us one for free. Yeah, pretty pretty nice piece, man. I gotta admit, we could take a dab out of that thing all day. Alright, let's move on. Let's move on over here. We got these things right here. That may be the biggest oil dome in the history of oil domes. Look at the size of these. Of yeah. these like, dabs. I don't even know. Dabs. No, I'm saying dabs because I've been taking dabs. Yeah. Look at the size of these skillets and domes. They're just off the chain. Yeah. Come down here. Got some more dope ass shit. There's some Paco right there. Yeah. Paco piece. Chubbs is definitely down with the Paco. Yeah, we got some uh, electroform pieces right over here. Plus some oil rigs down here at the bottom. I think those are worm. Yeah, fuck yeah. The worm. Those things have mad arms in them. I've been wanting to try to hit on one of those things for a while. If you guys can see the skillets there, they actually have like cups to like heat up and put your hash on. I haven't hit one of those kind of skillets. I'm kind of wondering how they hit. If uh, any of our viewers have, uh, let me know. Let's move on up over here. See, we got a couple of uh, Toro micros right here. These are pretty. This one. I think right these here. are some of the ones that were shown at the IGS and National Glass Show a couple of weeks ago. You got that Toro worked micro right there with the all frosted bottom. It's definitely a nice piece right there. I would definitely like to have that. Badass color scheme. You see the 713 there in the background. Mm -hmm. um, you also got a little Toro micro right there, like uh, Funk Master used to have. This piece right here is pretty badass. That's yeah. one of the brand new Toro inlines. Um, I think this is definitely a nice piece of it's glass. It's like a big micro, you know what I mean? It's shaped like a micro, but it's really, in reality, it's the size of a small bong. Yeah. But that has a nice hit on it. You can see one of the... There's some sovereignty right here. I think that's one of the old uh, inverted fours, or not old, but it's Steve, it. Steve actually old came style. down to the shop to say what's up. Yeah, man, that dude's got some sick glass. Uh, I can show you here, he's been working, this is one of the new uh, designs he's got right here, it's the uh, oversized stem to 12 arm gridded, this mm -hmm. thing just is a beast with the 75 millimeter pour going all the way up, a little ripple yeah. right there, this thing's badass. As we move on to the Eric Ross 4.0 display show, yeah, you can see the Got like what? There's that five V Ross pieces right there. Mm -hmm. Those double shower heads are pretty badass, bro. We uh we hit the uh what was the one we hit the other day? The the recessed dome yeah. uh, double cirque the other day. Those things are really really nice for an Earl rig. But these these uh full size tubes are nice too. Yeah. You can see we got uh, some more SG down here. Some more SG on the right right here. Want some dope ass D rag fucking. D-Rick uh, slide. Sand blasting on there. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah it's, it's fucking six slides and sand blasting. I didn't those, say slides, I meant sand blasting. Those fucking slides are sick as fuck. Oh yeah, show them the Luke Wilson back there too. Luke Wilson 15 arm bubbler there in the back. It's looking bad. Those arms. Move on over here. 2010 right here those are like the lego pieces the deal on those is basically i'm pretty sure they're thinking behind this when they made this is like look you can drop like a thousand twelve hundred bucks you know something like that you can get a piece right there like that lego and that gives you like a bubbler slash bong like nice big piece and ash like catcher three pieces in one yeah, not that one right there, but some some of their models. Mm -hmm. um, it's not you know my personal preference. It's not really what I'm into, but it makes sense for some people if you're on a low budget. 
can see the Koji Koji tube right there, I believe. Shit right here, you got the Nate Dizzle. Oh, yeah. Only the only time I fit one of those was a mini one. It was like one of the like the older versions. Super, super. Got a lot of sick glasses down here, guys. Another reason that I really, really enjoy uh, Aqualab and doing business with them. One of the reasons they're one of my favorite head shops is because they're on board with the medical marijuana movement, as I said, and they specialize in concentrates. So they basically got everything that you need to make concentrates here. They got everything that you need to make consume your concentrates here. Yep. Um, I'm stumbling need. over my words because I've already consumed a good deal of concentrates. Yeah, um, but we've been dabbing in the back all day. Yeah, I had a good deal of, of a neck pain today, so I needed my medicine. Yeah. And um, back pain for me. Yeah, it's really uh, working out well. This is so much sick glass. Yeah, I see there's some pop over here. Some, some more of the electro farm. Electro farm. Crazy, crazy pieces. Man, they got some sick glass over here, man. Let's okay. move on over and check out the front. Let's check out the front. Right here, they got a few dishes. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, then you got some Hellstone glass over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know about oh, that stuff. Anyway, they have some Hellstone glass. You got your kit clips there, you got down stems, you got your Alex Cage, you got your leisures, I think they got a couple of SGs in there, Stone, all the big names. All the sick uh, down stems right here. You got some dope, some dope some dishes. Dishes right here. I might be eyeing a couple of these today. Definitely. Might have to pick up a couple of the dishes, no doubt. You got all your attachments there. You see vaporizer attachments. Uh, 14 millimeter and 18 millimeter uh, titanium domes, PHX honeycomb slides, pretty much like I said, everything that you need for your concentrate. Some more dishes on the bottom. Bowl slides, big old dishes there on the bottom. Maybe a Mac to be rolling one of those. Yeah. Some dabbers, maybe pick up some dabbers. Yes, sir. Some huge domes. Some cool shit. Some stuff up top. Too. They got even more glass. Roll up top. Got some roots. Some roots. This is some of the. Uh, it's not bad glass, but it's just not quite as as heavy as some of the, some of the other people are looking for. You know, some of the stuff in the case. Uh, this is this is where a lot of collectors come to get their glass. You know. They're, Pretty much only messing around with the high end, but there is some other stuff there if you're just looking for a piece that you know hits nice, but it's not really a collector's item. You see, yeah, they even got some stuff over there that's a little bit high price, uh, you know, some yellow delf, some Zob, um, Zob, same glass. They got some DC tubes up there on the top, DC right there. Got some more sin bubblers right there, some Zob bubblers, sin bubblers. We got the stone waffles right there, like Toast's been rocking. That's a nice piece. Yeah, the waffle too. Last for days, guys. Look over here. We've got vaporizers. If you're that, if that's your preferred method of smoking, I know a lot of people get down on the vaporizing. You got your raw papers, beeline. Uh, you know, vector. They got your butane. They also as we go over here, the marijuana. They got bubble bags. Bubble bags galore. Bubble bags to run your bubble hash. Bubble and machines. What do you know about this? Aqualab bubble hash washing machine. Washing that machine. shit is badass. What other shop do you know that has a washing machine to run your bubble hash? This is probably one of the few right here. To run some fun bubble. I know you guys love these. Look at these beautiful trike shots up on the wall. Oh, yeah. Dry sifting equipment over here. Dry sifting over here. Like you know, dry sift, see you have, you know. Got a uh, bunch of presses down there. Here's 
Press dash. Like I said, if you need it, they got it. Yeah. Grinders over here. Yeah, Scopes, if you want to look at your medicine under a microscope. Scale. Check out the color of your trichomes and such. Essential vapes. I tried the handheld one of those, hated it. Um, I've heard the bong attachment ones are a lot better. And I've heard that I just didn't really know what the hell I was doing when I was using the handheld one, so. Don't take my advice, but. Pink Urban, I didn't really like know it. about that. Pink Urban. Here we go. Everything you need, guys. Got the clothes. And we are out of here. We got it all, guys. Let's go get some lunch. Come down and uh, check this place out. The address right down down there at the bottom of the screen for you guys. This place is uh, located in Riverside. We Riverside, out. California. Come and check it out. Get a real faced. Yeah. Peace.